Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of 1 over e raised to 5x dx. So what we have here is integral of exponential function of the base e. So we can apply this standard formula for the integral of exponential function with the base e. That is integral of e raised to u du is equal to e raised to u plus c. But we cannot apply this formula here because the power of e is under the denominator. Let's try to move this power of e to the numerator by applying the negative law of exponent. So 1 over e raised to the 5x is the same as e raised to negative 5x dx. Also, we cannot still apply this standard formula for this integral because the exponent in the base C is not just x or 1x. It has an extra coefficient of negative 5. So let's use substitution first. So we let u be equal to, usually when we are dealing with the integrals of exponential function, we let u be equal to the expressions on the exponent. So that is, we have negative 5x. So we let u be equal to negative 5x, getting the differential of both sides. Differential of u du, differential of negative 5x or its derivative is negative 5 dx. So on the original integral, what we want is to transform just the dx in terms of du. So we have created this dx term but we don't want this extra coefficient of negative 5. So we get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 5. So we will have negative 1 fifth du equals dx. If we substitute, we will have integral of base e raised to negative 5x which is equal to u and then this dx is now equal to negative 1 fifth du. So since this negative 1 fifth is just a constant, we can put it in front of the integral first. So we will have negative 1 fifth integral of e raised to u du. And we can now apply the standard formula for the integral of e raised to u du, which is equal to e raised to u. Then don't forget the plus c. So the last step is to transform back the u in terms of x, which is negative 5x. So the final answer is negative 1 fifth e raised to negative 5x plus c. For number 2, we have the integral of 2x plus 5 times e raised to quantity x squared plus 5x dx. So obviously, we need to apply u substitution here. We let u be equal to the expressions under the exponent of the base e, which is x squared plus 5x. And let's check if we differentiate this x squared plus 5x, we will create the remaining expressions on the integral, which is 2x plus 5 dx. So let's get the derivative of both sides, derivative of u du, derivative of x squared plus 5x. So for x squared, it's derivative, it's 2x, plus derivative of 5x is 5, then put dx. So yes, we have created this 2x plus 5 dx term on the original integral, which is now equivalent to du when we substitute. So we will have the integral of e raised to x squared plus 5x, that's equal to u. And then this 2x plus 5 dx is equal to du. So evaluating the integral of e raised to u du, applying the standard formula, it's just equal to e raised to u plus c. Final step, transform back the u in terms of x, x squared plus 5x. So the final answer is e raised to x squared plus 5x plus c. For number 3, we have the integral of cosine 2x e raised to sine 2x dx. Okay, let's apply u substitution. We let u be equal to sine 2x. Notice that if we get the derivative of sine 2x, we will create this remaining term on the integral cosine 2x dx. So differentiating, we will have derivative of u du. Derivative of sine 2x, so that is cosine 2x times by chain rule, we still need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function in the sign, which is 2x, its derivative is 2, then dx. 
or we will have du is equal to 2 cosine 2x dx. So what we want on the original integral is just cosine 2x dx. So we don't need this extra coefficient of 2. Let's get rid of that by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have 1 half du equals cosine 2x dx. Let's now substitute. We will have the integral of e raised to sine 2x which is equal to u. And then this cosine 2x dx is equal to 1 half du. Let's put this 1 half in front of the integral first. So we will have 1 half integral of e raised to u du. So 1 half times integral of e raised to u du, that's just e raised to u plus c. And let's substitute back the u in terms of sine 2x. So the final answer is 1 half e raised to sine 2x plus c. For number 4, we have the integral of e raised to arctan of x over 2x squared plus 2 dx. So let's apply u substitution. We let u be equal to arctangent of x. And check if we get the derivative of arctangent of x. We can produce the other terms on the integral dx over 2x squared plus 2. So getting the derivative of u, it's du. The derivative of arctangent of x, recall that it's equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. So are we able to produce this dx over 2x squared plus 2 from the derivative? Actually, yes, but we need to factor out the 2 first in the denominator. So it is equal to the integral of e raised to arctan of x over 2 times quantity x squared plus 1 dx. So this over 2, it's just the same as coefficient of 1 half on the integral e raised to arctan of x over x squared plus 1 dx which later we can just put in front of the integral. So therefore, we have produced this other term on the integral dx over x squared plus 1, which is now equal to du. So if we substitute, let's put this 1 half in front of the integral first. So we'll have 1 half integral of e raised to arctan of x that's equal to u. And then this dx over x squared plus 1, it's just equal to du. So we'll have 1 half integral of e raised to u du, that's just e raised to u plus c. Final step is to substitute back the u in terms of x, which is arctan of x. So the final answer is 1 half e raised to arctan of x plus c. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.